Hi, it's Jess. Uh, I felt the need for a, a property market update. Um, the buy to let landscape at the moment, it's, it's quite a complex one. Um, complicated, sometimes contradictory, definitely uncertainty, definitely. Some landlords I know we see are postponing decisions. Um, some landlords are finding it hard to make a profit. Uh, if they haven't set their stall out correctly, that, that'll definitely be true. Prices are going up or down, who knows? Yeah, different areas, different things, different, um, different situations in different areas. Should you be buying? Should you be waiting? I know some landlords are selling up. You know, crazy to us, but I can see it. For us, for me, for our landlords, it's a, it's a very different story. We've got certainty. Our investments are making gains every week. And I wanted to tell you how and why it's different for us. Uh, a few weeks ago, I sent out a video titled, it was something provocative like, this is easy. I think that was the title. Sorry about the titles. I mean, we try not to be too clickbaity, but also we do want some clicks. So, you know, um, and that one worked. Uh, anyhow, so someone emailed back, literally calling bullshit. The one word, bullshit. It was like, so just, that just stuck. So we, we, uh, we're saying this is easy. I'm not saying everything is easy. Maybe we need to sort of uh, build on this. Everyone on our team is working very hard at the moment. Um, what I'm saying is that property investing, the way we are doing is significantly easier than the way other people are making it. And also, um, it, the market conditions are easier right now than I've seen them for a long time. We're in one of those periods uh, in the market where we need to make hay while the sun is shining, as, as, you know, as to coin a phrase. Um, we're already noticing prices are creeping up. Two houses, houses I personally bought only two months ago for under £50,000 each are now worth approaching £60,000 each. You know, a £20,000 gain in a couple of months is not bad. Um, I think it's easy to see why. When a builder can't build a house for much less than £100,000, £120,000, depending where they are, it doesn't take much to push these £50,000, £60,000 houses up. We're buying, renovating, and as a result of that, values are moving. Not just on the house that we've bought, that specific one, but in the whole area as well. Um, I've seen that the value of a £50,000 house can double quite easily when we do this. I can see it. A £250,000 house just can't double quite as easy, you know, 50 to 100, 250 to half a million. It's, it's you know, it's it's quite a big deal. Um, I personally believe that the biggest capital gains right now are to be had on these 50 to 60, 70,000 pound houses. In fact, we've never bought a sub 50,000 pound house that not had it double in, in five years. And then that's still true. You know, we, we worked that, that, that number out two or three years ago and it is still true. We keep finding different patches with different houses in, in at those sort of prices and then watch, um, as that is they that those those houses become noticed and people invest in them and then the prices go up um we're definitely moving our patch if you like up north a little bit more and that's that's continuing we've got seven distinct areas we're buying in now uh, our new areas are all already into double digit completed property with with 20 20 odd in the pipeline you know that's why i'm saying it's easy we, we, we bought easily 20 houses and um that's 30, 30 houses, then we'll sell completed, but we've agreed them. That was hard work to do in Nottingham. And when we're moving slightly further forward, uh, it, it, further north, we find it easier. That's why I'm saying it's easy. We're finding that all this other uncertainty is bringing our deals our way. We're finding houses at 50 to 75,000 75, pounds to buy, uh, that rent out for five to 600 pounds a month. Uh, we always develop, so we always develop to rent, so we buy as cheap as we can, um, we create value and equity uh, by renovating your new kitchens, new bathrooms, roofs, whatever we have to do so we can refinance. Um, who's selling? It's the usual, death, divorce, distress, whatever, but it's also landlords who can't be bothered to be good. Um, the crappy, run-down houses, they're facing all the issues that you, you probably know about already, the licensing, tightens, tighter tenancy rules financing, tax, all those things. And they just can't cope, so they're selling up. They're not they're not, not prepared to put the effort in to set their stall up correctly to do it properly. Um, and they've got property that probably needs to bring it up to standard. They might even be forced to sell it. We bought a few recently where the, the landlord has been forced to sell the property because it wasn't in good enough condition to, to rent out as a result of a selective licensing. And I know that, they'd be, that, that landlord selling it would be bemoaning the fact that all these... Um, 
rules and regulations have come in. The fact is, it needed a new kitchen, new rewire. It was not fit to rent. Um, we buy the property. We determined to do it right. So we bought it for the right price. Um, we do the renovation. Our, our landlords then have a great property. So they deserve a great renter, and we get one. Um, it's an important point that... Um, I must make to three or four clients a month. These, as we call it, cheap properties. They don't mean you're going to have a bad tenant. Common misconception. Bad tenants come from bad management. Um, I've got a house on a particular road in Nottingham. I couldn't afford it right now. You know, I bought it back there back then for forty-five thousand um, pounds. Yeah, you know, it's worth one hundred fifty odd now. So. Um, but I was talking to a local landlord who was bringing on, local to Nottingham, they're bringing on properties over to us to management, and he was asking if he should sell this, is he some bad property that's on the street that he thinks is bad, and I've got had this property for years now. I told him I've never had a problem. Um, so that was just four, four five, five months ago since he's brought him over. Um, so we've replaced his renter with a well-referenced, decent human being. He was attracted to the place because we'd given it a light renovation. It was all looking nice. Uh, the landlord gets £50 a mo month more for his property now. Uh, and we collect the rent and he gets less hassle and all those things. His property's been refinanced for £20,000 more than he thought it was worth. He'll have less maintenance. Um, hopefully less voids, a happier tenant. Um, we've also hand, um, you know, helped him to pay, plan to pay the right amount of tax, cut some other costs. I'm just talk about you know, what a positive message our landlords can can give. You know, proud landlords, happy renters, better communities. That's one of our strap lines. Uh, we re after we redevelop houses in areas, prices rise, rents rise, arrears and maintenance are low. Which basically, that, that's happy tenants, isn't it? Even the councils are happy. So when I said this is easy, um, I might have been a little bit misleading, you know, a bit clear. What I perhaps should have said is this can be easy if you do it right. Um, there's also an amazing opportunity now to buy some really cheap undervalued properties. So if you're under, uh, I've, I've touched on the subject there. If you're interested in hearing more, um, hearing where these properties are, perhaps seeing some of them for yourself, making that step to becoming a landlord investor yourself. Uh, I'm sure somewhere here, there, somewhere, usually down there, I think there's a thing that says book on a discovery day. Discovery day is a day that we put on twice, three, four times a month. The dates will be on the website. Um, where you come along and you see what our business is about, what we do, how we do it. Um, there's no obligation and at the very least you're going to come out a little bit uh, more clued up about what a decent landlord does to make everything easy and, and make profit in this uh, in this market and perhaps where to do it. So uh, yep, yeah, click around the website, find out a bit more, book on to a discovery day and hopefully I'll meet some of you soon. Bye now.